Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Liam here, and today we're actually going to be reviewing the Crank K71. Look at that. It's beard out of thin air there. Oh, totally gone. Maybe it's going to appear in this hand now. Ah, here it is. Maybe it's just going to, I don't know, disappear perhaps? Ah, totally gone. Maybe I'm going to get two in both my hands? Uh, oh, oh, God! What was that? <laughs> I think it was wet. <laughs> the Crink K71 Permanent Ink Marker is an extremely well-known graffiti marker. This marker and all other Crink products are handmade in New York City by a former writer legend named KR. Uh, this marker is a pump action marker, which means you uh, just push down on the nib to get the ink flowing through it. Um, what's special about this marker is that it's very good uh, for getting drips throughout your artwork or your tag. Um, because of the special pump system that Crink put inside this marker and the ink formula inside the Crank K71 is very loose and free flowing so when you pump down I would say uh, more ink than usual comes out. So yeah, it's great for creating drips if you pump down more than usual but um, you can also get a nice controlled clean line um, if you don't pump down as much. Um, so yeah, just as simple as that. The Crank K71 comes in one size which is uh, 15 centimeters long by two centimeters wide. Um, this is actually a fairly large marker. Um, if you keep one of these in your pocket all day, it's uh, quite noticeable and annoying. And also people will think you're having like a boner jam in your pocket or something because it looks like a cock. <laughs> um, also another downside to this marker is even though the body of the marker is very large, um, I find crink kind of chintzes out on the amount of ink they give you inside the actual marker when you buy it. Um, I found when I bought mine, it wasn't even halfway full, um, which is kind of a drag. Um, just means they're cheap. Um, but yeah, other than that, it has a very nice calligraphy style um, nib. The nib measures in at 0 0.6 centimeters long by 0 0.4 centimeters wide, um, which is a really nice chisel tip nib. The four traditional colors that the Crink K71 comes in are black, brown, silver, and purple. But Crink just released five brand new colors, one of which being cyan, which is a light blue, um, and green, magenta, orange, and yellow. These colors are very bright and fluorescent, um, so consequently they'll stand out more. So if you're looking for uh, your tag to stand out, um, I suggest picking up one of those five new colors. But the only place you're going to find these new colors are on oinkrltd.com. The Crink K71 also comes in two special bleed through formula colors. Um, what bleed through means is that um, if you write on a wall or uh, some sort of surface and you get buffed over, which means painted over with an oil based paint, um, these two colors will bleed through the paint, so become visible through the paint. Um, better than a lot of other markers out there, so Crink claims. Um, and these two colors are Bleed Through Red and Bleed Through Blue. You can purchase all of these K71 markers from www.oinkrltd.com for around $8 plus shipping. Remember, oinkrltd.com. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys about the ink formula inside the Crink K71 marker. Um, the ink is famous for a reason. A lot of thought and time went into this ink, and uh, it is evident when you use it. Um, it is very thin, like I mentioned before, so consequently it's not very opaque, and it's a bit see-through, um, like you'll see later on in the surface test. Um, all colors, however, are very um, standout and uh, very vibrant, so when you get up, you get noticed. Uh, the ink is weather-resistant and won't fade in the sun. Uh, if the ink gets buffed with a chemical graffiti remover, um, it will have a hard time holding up. But if uh, the ink gets buffed over with an oil-based paint, the crink uh, ink will bleed through, or um, you know, show through the paint. Great, especially if you have uh, one of the special bleed-through colors, uh, bleed-through red and bleed-through blue. Um, 
So yeah, enough talk. Let's uh, take this marker to the streets and test it out on five different surfaces and see how it holds up. Okay, so here we go with the very first surface test using the Crank K71 purple marker. And it, of course, is going to be on normal white paper. Now, let's get into this. A cool thing about the Crank uh, K71 marker is um, the nib always seems to be kind of juiced. Um, because the uh, ink is so thin, it tends to automatically kind of flood the nib. Um, so you don't really need to pump it down as much as you would another marker. Um, I do suggest, however, before you session a wall or something, you push down a couple times just to make sure the nib is saturated enough. But right now, I just took it out. I'm not even going to pump down. I'm just going to go straight into my hand style. And you'll notice that there are no streakages. So, streakages. All right. Let's uh, get into this. Now, guys, don't hate on my hand style. I clean it up a bit, but I still do not write this toy shit. So... Alright. Let's get a close up on this baby. So, as you see, it's a beautiful purple color. Um, what, I'm, what I don't like too much is how it gets a bit darker when you cross over the line. Um, that's kind of expected with uh, any marker. But still, it's kind of a pain. I don't like, personally, how that looks. Um, but other than that, no streakage at all. Um, I can't even find any. So, you know what? I'm going to give this surface um, a four stars because it's looking really tight. All right, the next surface test we got lined up for the Crink K71 purple marker is everyone's favorite, smooth metal. Um, now, I don't really need to introduce this anymore. You know that when you're getting up, you find smooth metal everywhere. So, let's just get into this. Now, as you see, I did not even pump down uh, when I started my tag. I just went right into it. Um, and the Crink K71 performed be beautifully. Let's take a bit of a closer look now. A nice violet color going on here. Um, no real streakage. Um, it is a bit smelly, um, so I suggest you use it outdoors. Um, but if you look at that, it's a beautiful purple. Um, not really opaque, but the Crink K71 marker isn't meant to be opaque. So on this surface, I'm going to give this marker uh, four and a half stars because it performed beautifully. Okay, here we go with the last surface test of the day uh, with the purple Crink K71 marker, and it's going to be on glass. Uh, now this is good quality glass. This is um, shower glass, so this is the best quality glass you're going to get out there. So let's get into this. I'm actually going to do a small pump yeah, with the crank and then go straight into my tag right here. Okay. Take a bit of a closer look here. Um, it looks almost red in the camera, but I do assure you it is a very nice uh, magenta purple. It uh, turns out a bit more pink on uh, the see-through surface here. And um, it's looking very nice. Minimal streakage. Um, I actually can't find anywhere where it did streak, so actually no streakage. And um, the only complaint I would have on the surface is how it's a bit see-through. So the ink is not really opaque, but you have to expect that with most inks. Um, inks are usually less opaque than, uh, sorry, opaque than paints. But it's actually looking amazing on the surface. So, you know, I'm going to have to give it uh, four and a half stars because the Crink K71 performs great on glass. All right, YouTube, uh, we have come to the end of our Crink K71 uh, review. If you're tearing up right now, I don't know, man, maybe you should head outside or something because that shit ain't proper. Uh, anyway... Uh, my final overall rating for this marker is 4 stars out of 5, and I recommend you go try out one and uh, pick one up or borrow one from a buddy. Um, it's a good marker to pick up every once in a while, but I find it's a bit pricey for my taste. Um, so I'm out of time for today, guys. I will be posting a buff test video um, for this marker and all the other markers I review, so stay tuned for those. Um, also, more sexually arousing reviews, how-tos, and other videos coming your way. Um, so remember, if you have any questions, advice, video ideas, and if you want me to cover something in my review videos that you think I'm missing, um, post a comment on this video or on my homepage. Again, my name is Liam, and this has been So Dirty Yet So Clean. Good night, YouTube, and uh, don't shit your pants.